Hello my beautiful people, today I'll be bringing to you yet another very exciting episode on how to download Windows 10 or Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 or even Windows 7 from the Microsoft official website and it's actually free guys. So I'll be showing you both on the Google Chrome uh, browser and on the Firefox browser. Okay, let's start with the Firefox browser guys. Um, so what you need to do is you need to come to your Google, you just type uh, Windows, Windows 10 let's say windows 10 download you hit enter okay usually the first one is always the official website microsoft as you can see so you just click here okay bam so guys there are actually two ways to do this it's it's either you use the the, the download tool from the official website or you use uh, there is another very tricky method that you can also use so I will start with the very tricky method, uh, method. it's tricky but very simple so what you need to do is you just you just pull down both the control and the shift button with alongside the M. So you just say control shift M. So it, it's gonna come out with a very small, a very small interface like this. So what you need to do is actually when you do it the first time, you see, uh, you can see uh, a lot of options here. So the the one you need to choose is the iPad, guys. So you you, you drop down the menu. You take the drop down box here so you choose the ipad okay so when you choose the ipad guys you you refresh your browser so when you refresh your browser okay bam it actually comes out like this so what you need to do is you just select uh, the edition you want to download so in this case guys it's windows 10 last updated mm, may 2020 so just use windows 10 and we confirm it's validating so now we need to we need to to choose the the language or your country where you are we need to choose the language guys so you need to choose english or any other language you want i don't know for my for my case i'm choosing english so after that you just hit confirm okay now it shows us various options that uh, we want to download guys so if you if your computer or your laptop is a 64 bit or a 32 bit uh, it depends on which which one you can go for. So in this case, I'm going to choose 64 bit because my laptop is a 64 bit laptop. So I'm just going to hit 64 bit download. Okay, bam, this it. So you just take save and and that's it. It's actually downloading. So this is it. It's downloading here, guys. This is it. So that's all. So I'll I'll, I'll actually show you now the second option. Okay. So using the t the download tool, guys. So you just need to click here. Okay, like my network, it's a bit slow. So after downloading these files, it takes just few seconds to download. To download in, yeah, download is complete. So after downloading, it's on my desktop. So this is this is the the media creation tool. So what you need to do is you just click on this media creation tool. Okay, it comes up like it comes up like this. So it's just getting some few things ready for us. Actually, it depends on you the strength of your your internet connection. Okay, just some terms and conditions. Accept. Uh, it's still getting some few things ready again. Okay. What do you wanna do? So now they choose. You can choose to upgrade your PC, but in this case, we're trying to download this ISO file, guys. So we you just need to to click on the second one, then you take next. Uh, these are just the default options that I'm gonna choose. It, it just actually detects your laptop, so your, your computer. So in this case, I'm just going to you to go for the recommendations that uh, it's, it's recommended by my Microsoft. So you just need to take uh, next. Okay, if you have your flash with you or your USB something, you can just plug it in your in your PC and or your computer and you actually make it a USB bootable uh, ISO. You can just create a USB bootable and the, you need to have at least 8 gig because the size of the ISO is really big. So in this case, we want to download this ISO file into our computer so we can always just use it or anytime we don't need to download it so you just download it to and keep in your computer so what we need to do is we need to select this second option which is the iso file and click next 
Okay, so now it gives us uh, an option to save it. So that's it. Uh, it actually takes some time depending on your internet connection. So uh, it, it just ranges from 0 to 100%. And when it's 100%, you're done, guys. And that's all for uh, the Firefox browser. So now we'll just head on to... I'll show you how to do this with using the Google Chrome browser. Uh, I already showed you how to use the download tool, so which I already did for uh, Firefox. It's just the same, guys. So I'm just going to show you the other way around. So what you need to do is just click Inspect. Okay. So after clicking Inspect, what you need to do is you need to come to this dot here, these three dots. You just click More Tools. Then you go down to Network Conditions. Network conditions is going to bring you down here. So make sure you uncheck this automatic, uh, select automatic, just uncheck this box. Then make sure if if it's on, on custom, make sure you, you put it on the Safari iPad, maybe. I always, I don't know, it depends on the, on the, on the version of Chrome you, uh, you're using. In this case, we have an iPad, I always, Safari iPad iOS 13.2 so you select this one so after selecting this one you just going to re refresh the browser so after refreshing the browser now we can close this so when we close this it, it's gonna ask us to select the edition so the edition I'm gonna select here I'll just say the, the latest Windows 10 then you just say confirm just validating then the, we just going to choose a language here I'm going to choose English and we just going to confirm okay now in this case it's either you using a 64 or 32 bit guys so whatever one you want to use it's up to you so in this case I'm going to go for 64 bit that's it guys and you save it so that's it to 4.9 gig so I'm just gonna cancel it I don't need this I'm just gonna pause it there so if you're wondering if you want to download maybe Windows 8 like Windows 8.1 you just click here okay when you open it, it might be surprising you that the, they're asking you a couple of questions here but just ignore this before uh, you begin just ignore this scroll down to select an edition then you select which edition you want. Uh, in this case, I'll just go for 8.1, the very first one. And you confirm. Then now they'll ask you the language. I'll just say English. Then I'll confirm. Okay, now it still asks us 64 or 32 bit. Uh, I'm going to go for 64. So you just click here and that's it guys you just save it please in case you like this video don't forget to give a thumbs up and in case you also want to get more uh, of this kind of videos please guys subscribe let's grow let's make this channel big guys i'm gonna be surprising you on a daily basis so in case uh, you also have a problems comment section below